Without further ado, we're going to cover the five things that we found that are common when uh, creating morphs for NAS Studio and for NAS Studio figures that they'll help you uh, improve your project workflow and maybe save you a little bit of heartache. Uh, the first thing we're going to cover is when you're exporting any of the uh, DAS figures, uh, we're going to use Genesis in our example in particular, uh, you want to set it to base resolution for as a mess resolution before you actually uh, export it and because you're not going to get a successful re-import for your uh, figure that you create your morph you should create I should say your new characters when you re-import it so we'll go ahead and demonstrate how to do that you can see here that we've already loaded You can see that we've already loaded the Genesis figure into DAS Studio 4.8. So what you want to do is make sure it's selected in the Scene tab. And then you want to go over to the Parameters tab. Uh, depends on your DAS Studio configuration. Uh, we have ours in the uh, City Limits uh, light, I believe, with the dark side. That's our layout and styles. So you, once you get on the Parameters tab, you'll uh, scroll down if you have to. You might have to expand a little bit because you might... Uh, it might be hidden. Let's just go ahead and hide it so we can show you. So you go to the Genesis figure in the parameters tab. You go under general. Uh, let's say the transforms. Uh, if you look here under transforms and select some mesh resolution under general, and that's what you want to select. And you'll look right up here and you'll see that the resolution is set to high. So before you begin your export, you're going to go ahead and just set that to base. And then you will go ahead and do your exporting, which would be file export. And of course, you're going to figure out where you want to export it to. Uh, you're going to, uh, most likely, you're going to use the object format. Uh, that's what we highly, highly recommend because we haven't tried it with the other formats, but I'm not sure how the, uh, the Morphing Pro and Advanced will work with that. So and then once you save it, it'll be, it should be okay. And that's what you're going to use with your external modeler. Let's say Hexagon, Blender, Sculptress, Alpha 6, whichever one you should use to do uh, create the actual morph character. So let's go ahead and move on to the second common morphing mistake that we discovered uh, during our uh, adventures. Well, whenever you're going to export a figure, if you have happened to load any other props or items into the scene, you just want to make sure that you unparent them from the figure before you export it. We're going to demonstrate this time with the uh, Genesis 2 female with the basic shorts and the basic, uh, I believe, the top. As you can see here, we've loaded the Genesis 2 female. As you can see in the viewport here, she's got the top and the shorts on. However, if you go up here and look in the scene tab, uh, you don't see those listed. You only see the Genesis 2 female. So for this common morphing mistake, people forget to go and unparent those items. You can see here they're underneath the Genesis 2 female in the hierarchy here. So we would just right click on the shorts first and we'll unparent. Then we'll right click on the top and unparent those. So now they're not actually part of the Genesis 2 female hierarchy. So when you do your export, you won't have any uh, hidden geometries that get exported when you create your morph. And that's going to save you some headaches, I'm sure, uh, if you accidentally send something out that you didn't mean to. And then you won't get no more re-importing uh, re re errors in DAS Studio 4.8. So for uh, the second common mistake there, just be sure that you unparent any hidden meshes that aren't seen in the uh, scene tab before you export your character. The next common morphing mistake we found is uh, you need to make sure you use the same sizing uh, relationship when you do your export or your importing or when you re-import your uh, morph figures. Uh, we'll demonstrate that uh, using the Genesis 2 male figure. You can see here in DAS 4.8 that we've already loaded the Genesis 2 male. Uh, and you can see we've already set the MES resolution to base. Uh, he's not got any additional props in the scene, so we're good there. So when we go, we have him select in the scene tab. We're going to go do our file export. 
And of course, when you do your file export, uh, you're going to make sure we'll go ahead and change it to object file format, and we'll put it here on our D drive, uh, just on the root. And we're going to call this. We'll just call it uh, G2M for just two mail. Uh, once. Once you uh, the, the pop-up comes up for the object export formats, you're going to have a convert from DAS Studio 2, and there's a sizing here. Uh, you can choose anything you like. You can choose something that's more appropriate to the external modeler you're going to use, or whatever. And I'll click the drop box, and you see we have a bunch of different choices. If you're going to be using Silo or Poser or Hexagon, they got Blender in here. So it all depends what your external modeler is that you're going to use to create your morph figure. So just remember whatever you choose, we'll just go ahead and stick to the DAS Studio 4. Point, uh, DAS Studio sizing here. And then we're going to do accept to keep create our morph. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll show you how to re-import that. So we'll go back. We're going to let's pretend like we've already gone through the external modeling process. We're going to go out here and uh, we're going to find our G2M that we just saved. Uh, let's see, there it is. And we're going to re for the re-importing. Uh, Actually, I'm sorry, we're not going to be re-importing it. Uh, we're going to be going to Object, More Folder Pro. My apologies. Uh, when that pop-up comes up, there it is. Uh, you could use Advanced, depends what you use, but you'll see the converting to DAS Studio now and from what size. And, of course, you're going to use whichever size here that you actually used when you made your... Uh, you created your morph figure, the, when you exported the actual DAS figure, I should say, to create your morph. So you just want to make sure you use the same size when you re-import it for your Mortal Loader Pro. And the Mortal Loader is going to show you uh, some stuff. It'll show you if it loaded successfully and whatnot. So just be sure to use the same sizing when you export and import your figures. This forthcoming morphing mistake that we're going to go into, basically depending on the external modeler you use uh, in this uh, screenshot, we're saying when you use the send to hexagon, and once the hexagon comes up, the very first thing you should do, whether it's in hexagon, blender, silo, or whatever you're using to create your uh, morph character, you want to uh, go ahead and save it in the default format for that uh, external modeler. That way, if you do make any mistakes, you don't have to go through the whole process of opening DAS, loading the figure, and doing all that export stuff again. You can just open your external modeler, start from fresh with what you just exported, the mesh, and you can begin all over again. And that'll speed up your uh, workload just a little bit. Uh, once you get used to it, it'll. Uh, if you ever encounter a problem where you didn't save it, you know, you'll learn that this, this one little thing might save you a lot of time. And number five on the common morphing mistakes is to, before you export your figure mesh, uh, just make sure you re if you have problems in your external modeler with the textures that are assigned to the mesh, because uh, they're not really important. It's just you're actually looking at just getting the mesh over there, which includes all the vertices, the edges, and faces to do your morph and then re-import it back in. The textures don't really have to leave DAS Studio and come back in DAS Studio for the actual morphing process. So what we've done here is we went ahead and we loaded the Genesis 2 female. Now we use the uh, Sin 2 hexagon is where we've encountered this in the past. It doesn't always happen. Uh, we went ahead and sent, it, sent the Genesis 2 female figure here to hexagon and uh, we'll pull hexagon over here and you can see that she's loaded. Her textures all look fine but in the past we've encountered a couple errors where she didn't exactly come in fine and so let me show you that. Here's a screenshot in the past where we've done an export, and this is how she came into Hexagon. It looks kind of a little bit weird, like she's got a white suit on and some white socks, and her ears are obviously white. And so if on your external modeler, if this is the kind of problem you encounter, don't let it throw you off. It really, you don't, it's just going to be more of an annoyance. But of course, then your model, depending on the model you choose, those textures might be important to it. So by removing those before you do the export, you won't encounter this problem. So you really don't need to do step five, removing the textures, unless you run into this problem with your external modeler. So what we're going to do really quick, we'll go over here to DAS Studio, and uh, we will show you. So basically, select the figure up here in the uh, Scene tab. You'll want to go over to the... Uh, Surfaces tab over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and expand it out, basically. Uh, oops, sorry, not the templates. We're looking at the uh, surfaces here. Oh, sorry. 
actually, if we just click the Genesis 2, I'll probably see what I want. Oh, there it is. Sorry. If you just click the character over here in the Surfaces, once you're in the Surfaces tab, click the character itself. Uh, on the right side over here, you'll see there's uh, there's different kind of mapping. Uh, if you go here to this to view Scholar, and you set it to none, you'll see that she's lost all of her skin textures. And if you do that, but before you uh, actually export her, then you should be good to go on that note. Well, we hope that this has helped you somewhat. Uh, hopefully you can avoid some of these morphing, common morphing mistakes when using DAS Studio 4.8 with a couple of DAS uh, figures like the Genesis and Genesis 2 Female and Genesis 2 Male. This is Rolo. We hope you enjoyed this video segment and we hope you have a great day.